Hey guys. So today's video is going to be reading my hate comments part two. I asked you guys in my last reading hate comments video if you guys wanted to see a part two and you guys said yes. So because I'm always down to do whatever you guys want to watch, here we are again. So before I get started, let me just say a couple things. I am somebody who's very comfortable with myself, like I love myself, I know it sounds very conceited to say, but I love myself in the sense that I'm comfortable with who I am as a person, so these kind of comments don't affect me whatsoever. And to me it's funny to read these comments because it's like, what kind of person gets so upset about another person's opinion that they get this mad and say such disgusting and nasty things? Like I could never imagine being that angry. The number one thing I want you guys to take away from this is to not ever let people's opinions of you, people's irrelevant opinions about you, get to you. Because these people are literally just random ass people who live all around the world who are giving you views on your channel. And if they don't like you, that's not your business, you know what I mean? I know it's very, very hard for people to not think like that, but the one thing I really wish people would get into is thinking just like that. Don't worry about these people, they are lonely, sad souls. And like I said in my last video these people probably go through the same shit every single day with people calling them names so they see you here online they see you living a great life seemingly and they want to tear you down a couple notches because they're miserable and misery loves company So if you start a YouTube channel and you notice comments like these going on in your channel, honestly just fucking delete them because they're not worth your time. Either that or just straight up ignore them because what they're looking for is a rise. They want to get a rise out of you. <laughs> so with that being said guys, let's get started. <laughs> If you see me fidgeting with this shirt, it's because it's supposed to be a cold shoulder tee. And that's the reason why I bought it, because I love cold shoulder tees. <sighs> but as you can see, it keeps wanting to go back up. It won't, like, stay down. So if you guys have, like, a good brand or a clothing company that actually has cold shoulder shirts that stay down, leave your suggestions down below, because Mama is on the market for a new set of clothes. So the first comment says, this girl's a fucking ball of joy. Damn, it feels good to be a gangster. Johnny Hensley, and this guy, let me just say something, this guy has commented on at least half a dozen or more of my videos the same fucking thing, so I'm pretty sure he's obsessed with me, but Johnny Boy has this to say, fuck you, go hang yourself and die in hell, whore. Why does everyone call me a whore? Do I come off as whorish? Be real with me, guys. I need to know these things. Johnny Boy, you are the cum shot that your mom should have swallowed. Atlantis Oceana asks, who the fuck are you? Clearly we haven't met. I, I apologize. I'm sorry. I'm about to teach these motherfuckers today. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I am such a rude ass bitch. Allow me to introduce myself. Hello, motherfucker. Hey, hi. How you doing? Now my bun is ruined. And just in case you forget, allow me to remind you. Let's proceed. Cindy Lou Who says, Wow, I'm glad I don't care about what someone else is doing this much. I need to go wash this hate off me. I don't hate Amy. I've never hated her. Do I dislike her? Absolutely. Will I ever be friends with her? Absolutely not. I think she's a trashy ass person and what she did was very fucked up. So the one thing that I hate about YouTube is the fact that so many people confuse someone hating somebody or hating on somebody with someone who's actually being real as fuck and telling you guys the truth. And that, above anything else, is what I'm focused on here in my channel. So I wasn't hating on Amy. I literally was just calling her ass out and exposing her for the fucking trash bag that she is. Tina Rich. Boo-boo, you got issues. Shut the fuck up. You're ugly. I want to give Tina a round of applause for actually using the correct form of your. Your ugly fat bitch. He donated $10. You donate $10. You man, go and kill yourself. Go kill yourself. Who cares? You have no views. Leave Amy alone. She has a lot of problems. Why are you hating? All you sent her was $10 and your mouth shut the fuck. I swear to God, these people hate themselves more than they hate me. Like I said in my last video, I'd rather have no views or very little views and be real as fuck and have an audience that actually listens to me and watches me because they like me than be Amy and have people who only watch me because I'm a train wreck. And yes, I know I shouldn't trust people on the internet, but I'm sorry that I have a fucking heart and I actually felt bad for the girl and I wanted to fucking help her. Sorry for being a fucking decent human being, I guess. Fuck me, right? <laughs> And for the record, I will not shut the fuck up. You're on my channel, bitch. So if you don't like what I say, you can shut the fuck up and get off my channel. But wait, there's more. 
Tina has three more comments. Z, why are you dying for $800? All you gave Amy, 10. You talking all this shit for 10. Life, God, he must be very horrible. All you gave me was 10. When life, leave her alone. Your McAfee have 800. This is old, get something new to talk about, ugly, no one cares, go kill yourself. You're mad because you're ugly, she's pretty, leave me alone, he's just a person, you're trying to get a page and views of a mean gold by you ugly fucking, your house looks nasty and you're dirty, look, you look nasty, he looks fat, ugly, weirdo, no one cares about you Mexican rapist. That was very hard to get through, not because it offended me, but because it made no fucking sense and I don't speak stupid. Now this is a great example of somebody whose life obviously fucking sucks. I have two theories. One, this is somebody who's related to Amy because no one can honestly be that mad about me saying something that was honestly true about Amy and taking that much offense to it if they weren't related or actually very close to her. And I've actually heard rumors that Amy has sock puppet accounts on YouTube and she tries to defend herself and call people out and talk shit on these fucking comment sections on her videos. But at the same time, I'm just kind of like, is she the kind of person who would actually do that? Just in how poorly written they are and how and how hard they are to understand I can kind of see it if that was Amy or if it is someone who's related to Amy I'm gonna give you a challenge number one grow balls and use your own profile number two grow bigger balls unblock me and confront me yourself and number three say this shit to my face and then Johnny boy is back with another comment your wrong form of your a stupid ass bitch don't judge people only God can judge people so shut the fuck up asshole I'm not judging anybody I wasn't judging Amy I'm just calling her out for being who she is which is a very shitty person and if you don't like it then don't fucking listen to me you don't have to like it and do you really care kiss God with that mouth. Do you actually go to church on Sunday with that fucking mouth? I don't think so. We're almost done guys, I promise. <laughs> Elizabeth Fogg says, I clicked dislike so fast it wasn't funny. You are an attention whore. Funny story, when I was like four or five years old, I forgot how old I was, I had this obsession with going to the Boynton Beach Mall in Boynton Beach, Florida, my hometown. There was this huge stage right in the middle of the mall. I was obsessed with going on that stage and dancing and singing for crowds. So to call me an attention whore, I mean, so to call me an attention whore, I mean, so to call me an attention whore, it, it makes sense. I get it. I literally am like Tinkerbell. I need a applause to live. So you right. You made another stupid video. Why do you care if you feel she has no Morales? She spelled literally the last name Morales guys. Oh my god. Why do you care about what goes on in her life? You're jealous for popularity, whether it be bad or not. Don't tell her how to live her life. Click buy. I don't know why all of Amy's fans resort to that one last thing. You're jealous of her popularity. You're jealous of her life. I'm fucking good. Why would I be jealous of somebody who lives that lifestyle, first and foremost? I'm not. I'm good. Why would I be jealous of somebody who literally has to scam people in order to afford makeup things, clothing, bras, basic necessities? Why would I be jealous of somebody who does not give a fuck about themselves to the extent that she's at right now? And let's be real, she's only popular because of the drama that she caused. And the last one is from Tammy L. Reedy, and it says, blah ha 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 ha, your, wrong form of your, a shit ass person. Honestly, you should sue your mouth shut. But then who would call out all the fake ass bitches here on YouTube? So that is it for today's comment video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like down below, obviously, and subscribe if you're not already. Like I said, guys, these people literally just waste their time saying these things because they just literally bounce right off of me and into the garbage because their opinions about me are worthless and are worth nothing to me. And I take zero offense to all of them. But it's okay, you know, it's not a big deal. This is all part of being a YouTuber. You're gonna have hate, unfortunately. My way of dealing with it is calling them out and uh, yeah, they don't like it, but they have no problem calling me out. So that fucking sucks, doesn't it? I don't think there will be another one of these because I haven't found any new hate comments. Obviously people found something better to do with their lives. However, I did enjoy making this because I just, to me, it's like getting closure. It's like, okay, I read them, I gave them attention, now they're gone. So that's it, that's done.
I will see you guys in my next video. I want to do a Q&A on Snapchat or on here. I don't know what I want to do yet. But if you haven't added me on Snapchat, add me on Snapchat. Because when I'm not on here on YouTube, I'm usually always on there. And I would love to do a Snapchat Q&A with you guys. I have a lot of you guys on there already. So yeah, if you'd like me to do that and you want to be featured in that video, leave a question in my Snapchat feed. And I will see you guys in my next video. I love you guys so, so much. Bye.